guys, I just finished my week one. Well, it's really week seven because I just finished six week six pack. I did not take any break. I went right into doing the next thing. But I did change what I was going to do. If you watched my last um, final results of six week six pack, I was planning on doing hard body. But I changed my mind, and what I am doing is Monday and Friday, I'm doing her Shred It With Weights, Jillian Michaels Shred It With Weights, where you use a kettlebell. I actually just use a regular 8-pound weight because I don't have a kettlebell, and they're super expensive, and I'm not going to spend a lot of money on something. So Then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm doing the Ripped and 30, and Wednesdays, I'm doing the Killer Buns and Thighs. All of those are Jillian Michaels DVDs. So I am sticking with the five days a week, and uh, I'm going to do another six-week period. So by the end of this, it will have been a full 12 weeks without any real break except for the two days a week um, break. But, like, there's not going to be, like, a big break in between. Um, anyways, I'm going to do my measurements here. At the end of the six-week six-pack, uh, my waist was 29 inches. So this is going to be seven weeks of working out with Jillian Workouts. Still 29 so, waist is still 29. I don't think my waist is going to get any smaller because this is just like skin. Um, I don't think there's any more fat. It's as thin as it's going to get. My stomach whoops, is 32, which is, actually it's closer to 31 and a half, I would say. So, that's down another um, three quarters of an inch. And then my thighs are still 35 so pretty much the same my stomach did lose a little bit more um when I'm tight like this is me tightening and you can definitely see it's like flattening this is just like relaxed so there's still that when I'm like not tightening but as soon as I tighten my abs which that's the other thing like I'm still not really seeing definition in the abs which is a little annoying but I am thinning out. I am definitely getting in shape. Like, seeing me in this shirt, like, my body would have never looked like this, you know, seven weeks ago. So, uh, I'm definitely, my body is changing. It's just not, I think I'm at, like, an awkward phase. Because I, when I started this, I was not fat, but I was not in shape by any means, um, any means of the word at all. I worked out never. I mean, once in a blue moon, maybe. And, um... Now I am, I think, at an awkward where I'm, like, almost to a better fitness, like, a higher fitness than what I started at. I'm definitely, like, getting stamina and stuff, but I'm saying I'm, like, at a, almost at a different fitness level, so I'm kind of, like, in the middle of where I was and where I want to be, and I think it's just, like, kind of making me look weird. Like, my thighs right now, they're so muscular. Like, I really feel like I look like I have bodybuilder thighs. And I'm not even trying to do anything with my thighs. Like I said, I'm doing the buns of thighs just that one day a week. And that's just because I was trying to fill in with a 45-minute workout. Because the other ones are 30-minute workouts. So, my body's at, like, a weird phase. Like, the only reason I started this is because I wanted to flatten my stomach. Which I'm working on. Um, my arms are definitely, like, thinning out. And I'm getting muscle. I definitely am stronger than I was. And my legs, like I said, are at a weird phase. So hopefully that will change soon. But anyways, I'm going to continue. So I will see you guys at the end of next week. And thank you for watching. Bye!